Hey guys, welcome back to Sockets and Sideburns. Just a quick one for you today. Sally the Scenic has due some new wiper blades. Now she's a Mark III Renault Scenic, but this should apply to the Grand Scenics as well. I've gone for Bosch Aero Twins for this job. The kit number is A664S. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. On the driver's side, we need a 30 inch blade and on the passengers, it's a 26. And it's a bayonet type fitting on these. First thing we want to do is get the wiper blades into the service position. You can do them down here, but it's easier to do them in the correct position, especially if you're a bit vertically challenged like me. So to do that, what we need to do, put the ignition on, but not start the engine. And then push our wiper stalk all the way down to the bottom position and they'll come up into the service position here. Next thing I like to do is put a nice chunky bit of cardboard under the wiper arm to protect the windscreen. Always use protection. In all seriousness though, no matter how careful you are, it's always best to do something like this, just in case this arm comes down, if it hits the windscreen without the wiper on, it's almost definitely gonna crack it. Okay, so to remove these bayonet type ones, what you usually have is this end here and the wiper arm end, you're gonna have something to either pull up press in or push down in order to clear over the little um, cutout that it's dropping into here on the wiper arm. So in this case, I think these are the Valio ones and we'll be fitting Bosch ones and they are a bit different. Those ones have to be pulled up, but these ones you need to push it down. We have even got a nice little arrow on here showing us where we need to do it. So we'll just pinch these tabs in and push them down and then get our hand and just pull up and away like that and then we can rest the wiper arm down on the cardboard. Right, now to fit our new one on, we're going to slide it onto the wiper arm with this clip end going down onto the wiper arm and it will come up through here. Offer it down, slide up through here, and then we'll need to just angle up a little bit so that this bit will clear underneath and you should hear a nice satisfying click when you're in all the way. Take our cardboard and head over to the other side to do the other one. And same again on the other side. Cardboard in. Depress, pull, eclipse, whatever it is on your particular blade. And that's why you have your cardboard there. If you get a jerky movement like that, this might just come down. And then same again for refitting. Just slide our brand new one on. Get it to there. And then just tilt up again. And then listen out for that click. And even though it's clicked, just make sure you give it a good tug. Make sure it's on there securely. Same on the other side. Not going anywhere. Cardboard out and we'll give them a test. Right, with our new ones on and secure, take it out of service position. Ignition back on again. And just put the wiper stalk back to the park position. And then we'll just give them a quick test run the washers, close the door so you don't get sprayed in the face. And just make sure they don't contact each other or any of the paint and you're good. Okay guys, that's this little job done. Piece of cake. If you've enjoyed this video or it's helped you out at all, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more content from the channel in the future, don't forget to subscribe. You can find me over on Instagram at Sockets and Sideburns. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.